my coach is still going to be the lady over there. She is still going to be coaching me. Yes, because I wanted Claire right now and settle it out. So yes, Mel will be coaching me and the guys will be co- in Kuwait will be helping me out. And that is official. Hey guys, even here, and as you just heard, Samson's new coach, or actually the old coach, is gonna be still his wife. Samson's wife is coaching Samson, and there you go. He's at the oxygen gym, and he's gonna be staying there for the entirety of his prep. That's sort of old news, but now it is official. So now we know for sure he's gonna be staying there. He's gonna be working with those guys. He made a couple of interesting stories where he explains a couple of things, and here in this post, he says, so, on to the next chapter coming this summer, I will be joining the Oxygen Gyms team under the watchful eye of Badr Budai and the Oxygen team while being coached by my wife, Marlena. Uh, I want to say thank you to Badr Dubai and the Oxygen Gym Oxygen team for being so welcoming to me and my wife. We truly appreciate this opportunity. So what does this even mean, really? I mean, he's going to be over there. Are they gonna be sponsoring him now? Because here in the caption, he also added the Hostile supplements. So apparently he's still sponsored by Hostile, but is that gonna last long? Or is he gonna go away from them? I'm not sure. But yeah, apparently he's part of the Oxygen team. Now, you guys probably remember when Regan Grimes went to the Oxygen gym. All the way back in 2017, so seven years ago. And those guys pumped him up to 300 pounds. He did not stay there for too long. He was there a couple of months during his off-season. And eventually he decided to quit and to go back home. The excuse, the reason why he didn't like it over there was, first of all, because they were so extreme. Because they got him so big so quick. He didn't like that. I mean, now he weighs 300 pounds again. But it took him 7 years to get there. So I think in Regan's uh, case... He, it was a good decision to go over there and to stay over there for a long time because it's what he needed. He needed muscle, he needed mass, and he still needs some. So I think for him it would make a lot of sense to go back over there. But the other thing, the other reason why he eventually went back home was because he was missing his girlfriend at the time. Meaning he was not allowed to go over there with his girl, with his wife. Because you know how those guys are over there in Kuwait. You know what their culture is like. And maybe they would let him bring his girlfriend with him, but to train at the gym and so on. Yeah, I don't know about that. However, it seems like in Samson's case, they made an exception. I mean, I don't know if his wife is gonna be allowed to get to the gym. But if she's coaching him, she should be with him there. I don't know. Anyways, it probably was a really good offer. A really, really good offer for Samson to accept it. Who knows what kind of money they offered him. And like I said before, I'm also guessing that maybe they told him to stop working with Milos. It would kind of make sense, but I don't know. It's just speculation. Anyways, let me play this story where Samson explains uh, what his plans are. A lot of you guys have been asking, what did I think of Kuwait? <laughs> man. Man. It was on the chain. Kuwait was awesome, man. And yes, I will be going back there for prep. I will be going back there to actually get this done. And yes, I will be joining Oxygen Team. So yeah, for all those who have asked for such a long time, I am doing that. And you know what? We're going to do this. And I believe them guys uh, definitely have what it takes to push me to to the limit. And uh, even though we're going to be there, I'm going to train in there, my coach is still going to be the lady over there. She is still going to be coaching me. Yes, because I wanted Claire right now and settle it out. So yes, Mel will be coaching me and the guys will be co- in Kuwait will be helping me out. And that is official. It's a new chapter, it's a new life. Draw a line under the old one. Forget all the bull****. Alright, so there you go, guys. It's going to be very interesting to see what Samson is actually going to bring to the Mr. Olympia stage. I'm assuming he's going to be even bigger. But as far as conditioning and his look on stage... I really have no idea what to expect, I mean, his wife did prep him for Arnold UK and for Prague and whichever show it was, uh, Romania, but it's after the whole prep was done. After like months and months of preparation with Milo Sharchev, his wife just probably repeated the same protocol they used for the previous shows and that's it, he was already in shape. When somebody is already contest ready and they do the show, 
It's super easy to just pick them once again, especially if you already have the blueprint, especially if you already have the protocol. So we don't know what his wife is going to do with him over the course of the next months. Maybe he's going to look horrible at the end. Maybe he's going to do a great job. We'll see. I mean, honestly, I'm not super optimistic. I mean, Milos is one of the top coaches in the world and his wife, I don't think she ever coached any top bodybuilders. And, you know, can she truly be objective? If he is complaining that he is feeling tired or, or hungry, is she gonna be able to force him to suffer? Can she really be objective? And does she really have the authority? Or is Samson gonna do his own thing with a little bit of her help? Maybe she is gonna be just another set of eyes? I don't know. I mean, I've seen this many times in, like, my rank. A lot of guys are coaching themselves with the help of their girlfriends or wives, and it never plays out well. I really don't have high hopes for this, and I'm expecting Samson to hire somebody, like, in the later part of the prep when he sees that this is not working out. That's what I expect, but we'll see. Maybe they will prove me wrong. You guys tell me what do you think down below in the comment section. Alright, the next thing, the next thing is very, very interesting. We have a comeback of Seth Ferrosi, that's right. Seth Ferrosi is gonna be competing once again. It's been how many, like 12, 13 years since his last show? I think it was back in 2000, I don't know, 10, 11, something like that. So he's gonna be coming back now. I'm gonna show you in a second how I know where he announced it. But this is his physique at this moment, and I gotta say, he definitely does have a lot of muscle, enough muscle, for his category, which is 212, and his conditioning is actually looking like he's, I don't know, like, four or five weeks out or so, but no, no, apparently he recently started, you know, working on building the muscle back up, I think he's been doing bodybuilding, like actual bodybuilding with, you know, a lot of food, with probably a lot of supplements, you know what I'm saying, uh, for like, I don't know, maybe five weeks or so, and he was holding on to a really good shape, really good, uh, really good musculature and everything for a long, long time, and now he finally started pushing, so I think he's gonna first grow, get bigger, get better, and then dial in the conditioning and uh, do the show. Let me actually show you where I got this from. Take one more run at it. I want to do one more run at it. Not only like I love it, yeah. I really want to. It's that one missing piece in my head that I don't want to. I don't want to get older and say woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm still finding out. I mean, I'm, I'm only. F this is like five and a half weeks into just training hard and eating regularly. Yep. But I wanna. I want to do it. I want to see what I'm capable of, and I also want. I want my kids to see. So there you go, as you can see it's official, I don't know how many of you guys remember Seth Ferrosi from the stage, because I don't, I started following bodybuilding back in 2010, I believe, 14, freaking 14 years ago, damn, and uh, here you can see a set with Cedric McMillan, and this is 2009, Nationals, so that was towards the end of his career, and he retired when he was looking really amazing, actually. He definitely looked like somebody who can win the Mr. Olympia in 212, because he looked like, like an open guy, basically. He was only short. So as you can see, his physique was phenomenal, and he stopped competing. I don't know, I don't think his health was perfect. Uh, I think he had some minor, um, I wouldn't say kidney issues, but maybe his numbers on his blood work were, weren't exactly perfect. He was pushing things heavily. He spoke about exactly what he was taking. I would love to make a video about that, about that kind of stuff. I love to talk about that kind of stuff, but not on this channel, unfortunately. He was very open about his use. He was pretty extreme, and he looked amazing, too. So, look at this. Look at his conditioning from the back. Like, he was ripped. So, he decided to stop competing a long time ago. And in the meantime, he maintained a solid physique. He never got out of shape. And he built up his brand in the meantime, his supplement company and his uh, YouTube channel and stuff like that. He, he built his popularity. I think it's now, now it's much, much bigger than it was back when he was active as a bodybuilder. And now he wants to do a show, basically he wants to show his kids where it all started. And uh, I think he wants it for himself because he's been looking so amazing. He looks like he can step on stage in five weeks, you know, or, or less. But if he builds up again, if he gets even bigger, maybe he won't fit the 212 division. He honestly looks much bigger now. And this is only, as he says, five and a half weeks of eating right and training hard. 
So imagine if he does another like cycle of 12 to 16 weeks of pushing, you know, for size and then working on conditioning. So I think this is going to be a phenomenal package, potentially better than he ever was, bigger at least. Maybe his waist is a little bit bigger now because he's older, but you know, he didn't lose like his arms or his legs. Everything is there. I also don't believe he had any injuries, at least I don't see anything wrong with his physique. Again, his waist is wider because he's older, but that's normal. Like, Jay Cutler had a smaller waist in 2001, but his best look was 2009, almost 10 years later, because he was more matured, he had better conditioning, he was maybe bigger, but, you know, waist wasn't as small as, he, as it was when he was, like, in his 20s. So, that's the only thing, but really, like, with age, guys usually lose their limbs, you know, like, the, the legs and their arms, but not with Seth Feroz, you think his arms are actually bigger now than they were when he was active competitor. So I think this comeback is going to be very good. I don't know if he's going to make it in 212. Maybe he will, because again, he is very short. But, you know, he does look amazing, I gotta say. And yeah, I think his comeback is going to be very successful. What do you guys think? All right, the next thing. It is very, very interesting. And I saw this a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to make a video about it, but I totally forgot for some reason. And today, somebody sent me an Instagram post about it, so I thought it would be a good time to make a video about it. You guys probably remember, if you watch my channel, that in one, or if you watch uh, The Menace uh, podcast, that in one of the episodes, Dennis James actually asked Patrick if he's coaching Big Remy, and he said, I'm not confirming that. He did not say, I'm denying that. He didn't say anything uh, official, but, you know, it was pretty obvious that he's coaching Big Remy. And you guys know that Big Remy is doing a Pittsburgh Pro Guest Posing. We haven't seen anything from Big Remy recently, so I am expecting something special this weekend. I'm expecting something incredible. And in a podcast that Patrick did in Italian, so I don't know exactly what he said, but the guy who sent me this translated it for me. Uh, he basically showed a photo of Big Remy, and I think he said he was 360 pounds, which I believe is the heaviest Big Remy has ever gotten in his career. And he showed a photo from his phone, so as you can see, it's not exactly very clear. You can't see much, but you can see the size, pretty much. And Big Remy has the size. I mean, it's Big Remy, he always had it, but now we know for sure Big Remy is not coming downsized. He is coming big, massive, again, 360. And in this podcast, Patrick also didn't confirm that he is coaching Big Remy, but if he has his update photos, I think it is pretty clear. And yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's a great choice for Big Remy to go with Patrick Tour. Honestly, guys, I spoke to Patrick, and I'm probably gonna hire him to prep me for my next show, for my MPC debut, for my pro qualifier, because I watched multiple podcasts with him, and I, I agree with a lot of things he's doing. I'm doing a lot of things similar in my offseason now, and I'm really curious to see what his approach is like in prep. I think I can learn a lot from Patrick, and I think he's very, very committed to his job. I think he's like a full-time coach. He's very passionate about bodybuilding as well. And in my opinion, right now, he's probably, you know, in top five best coaches in the world. I wouldn't say top ten. I would say top five, especially if you consider his current roster. He has some really good pros under his wing. I told him I want him to make me look like this, exactly like this. And he said, okay, <laughs> just kidding, that's probably not gonna happen. Look at this freaking monster right here. This guy is just getting better and better. And no, I'm not expecting to <laughs> look like this as my pro qualifier. This is just insane, this is just ridiculous. And yeah, the comments are absolutely right. This guy, he can do open as well. I mean, for now, he can. if he can fit the classic weight cap, sure, do it, try it, but... Eventually, with this kind of genetics, I think he should go to the open. But if he can squeeze into the classic, he can do some serious damage, guys. I've been saying this a long time, and I'm gonna keep saying it. This guy can definitely be one of the top, I think, top five, top six guys at the Mr. Olympian Classic Physique very soon, very soon. So, again, it's not official, but I think Big Remy made a great choice for choosing Patrick. And if you guys disagree, you can tell me down below. Whatever you think, tell us down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more videos, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.